Reality. UFOs. Science. Consciousness. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That might not be a real thing. The podcast. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm the Candyman here with Danny D. Kingsley, Maca. Special shout out to fan of the show, Declan Regan, for showing up today and sitting in with us. Uh, he uh, likes the show and happened to be the highest donator for uh, the money we raised for people in Thailand, which was a mere pittance. We didn't really raise that much, but we got some money and we gave it to some people right. and uh it helped them and so that's like you know you can raise five dollars you could raise fifty dollars you could raise five hundred dollars you could you i mean at what point does the number become like so great that it, i mean yeah obviously five million dollars is a lot of money to give to somebody versus five but like the point is it's all positive so if you can get out there and do something positive that's going to help some other people that are having a hard time even if it's only a little bit it's great and there was some sort of pay it st- forward <laughs> that's right asshole <laughs> pay it forward and there was, <laughs> there was some sort of fucking slogan for something i don't know what but it said if we all do a little we can do a lot and i liked that because it made sense right which leads me into my sean you wanted to give the shout out for the foundation oh yeah it's, sure uh, we should do this every show is, re- is really what we should we do. We also have sponsors, too. <clears throat> we'll get them after. This is like... Right. S- sponsors are important, but helping other people is why we're on the air. So that's, yeah. our, that's our core competency, Dan. <laughs> I want to focus on it, all right? Yeah, so uh, just, you know, um, in having Declan here today and also in the name of, you know, in the words of you just following the word. We all give said, a little. We can do a lot. Um, I think, you know, we want to shout out again the Christy Williams Foundation... Um, they just started, um, we mentioned it a few shows back and, uh, you can follow them on Instagram, uh, at KW Memorial Foundation or christywilliams.org. Uh, they have merch and all the money goes to, um, some really great things. In particular, they give, uh, money to individuals or families impacted by cancer Direct. anonymously directly anonymously what do you call it Declan people to people 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 people, people to, to people. people so it's a really great thing it's just starting but I th- feel like it's gonna be grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and we this show will always be friends of that so yeah really here, great, here. really great concept and just to cover our bases this show is brought to you in part by nrgtree.com uh they're actually a nice great group of people they're gonna try to make the planet cleaner with solar energy and try to put some money in your pocket somehow i don't know they they have tricks up their sleeve to harness the power of the sun turn it somehow into electricity which is then turned into money really everything is just energy being converted into different types of energy and different types of stuff right like money is a energy measurement in my mind you know you can make things happen with it one eight seven seven cars. No, don't you dare stop. K- I hate that fucking song. All right, that's not a sponsor. It will, it will stick. <laughs> they in my may head sue us. I don't think they want to be associated oh, with no, us. Oh no, no, dude, that is a fucked up song because you know I was working at the restaurant last night and some kid that was working there was singing it out loud I to stabbed, annoy the other kids. I would have stabbed him with a <laughs> she fucking hates spoon. That. I just like said, seriously. No. I would make that spoon like I would sit there and just sharpen it like slowly as he sang Prison it. Shank stuff. Yo, yeah, yep, and then I would do it slowly. I fucking hate that song with a passion. Well, it leads me into song of the week, which uh, <laughs> I was say, song of the week. I have one song of the week. And I can't believe it hasn't been song of the week before. It's tough to say, uh, okay. Someone's like, who's like, I have it in my, uh, my hot seat questions. Like who's your favorite band? Yeah. And that's tough. Cause like you just oh, right off the bat. So for me, if I have to, I'm picking Kiss. Kiss. Oh yeah. Um, followed closely by Bruce Springsteen, the E Street Band, and the Who. Uh, but the song of the week is Kiss. Lick it up, and 
if it's a good you, one. What you should do is is I wanna wait till you know so, me better. So music mm-hmm. lick it up. So so the 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 song itself is a fucking kick ass song. They, they weren't in good, makeup. They've got they were not in makeup point of fact. They've got some it's it's a little disturbing, but you have to look at it. That there is um there's some different versions of it out there. I've just my my thing is you can listen to a song and it can kick ass and it can kind of tell a story, but music videos brought it to a whole new level. Like like hip hop especially like Gene they were, Simmons looks like a predator they all do but when they were making hip hop videos and they were like showing barbecues and dudes like chicks playing volleyball and dudes you know like Dr. Dre had that video and the guy like flips the chicks boobs up from behind runs away and all the crowds like ha ha I was like man this looks awesome this feels right so lick it up uh, so Dan you know probably just a little bit more well I don't know that much about it so I'm pretty sure you know more about it than I do but there's some kind of not really like beef, but some kind of angst between Motley Crue and Kiss, and it has something yeah, it to, has do to do with um with like creativity. No, 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 stealing it, or it has to do with um early on in their career, Motley Crue is um I forget who it was. One of the guys in Kiss was um like acting like he was gonna like mentor them, and it was just awkward. And they were like, "Fuck you, yeah, man. fuck we're, you, we'll like bite your face yeah, off, we'll Motley fucking, Crue. We'll fucking smash a whiskey ball of your face, you piece of shit." Kind well, of thing. Ace Freely would smash him right back, but um, yeah, it, no, it wasn't Ace Freely. It was um, I'm just telling you, he was a wild alcohol. Yeah, no, he was. Oh yeah, and he had chicks galore. I don't know. They all did, but yeah. um. So there's some sort well, of beef. There's a documentary with him in bed with like four chicks. There's some sort of beef between the crew and Kiss, and it, and it's a shame because I love them both. But it's it, my understanding was that like at some point they they had hired the same promoter or the same video production company, and so if you watch Lick It Up, it's essentially them walking around and like if you if you like YouTube the music video, yeah. Lick It Up, great guitar. It's them right. trying to be more 80s. It's, it's like them walking down this like post-apocalyptic yeah. society Mad where Max. all men have been killed and there are only women running rampant everywhere. <laughs> and it's just like the women are like, oh my God, look at these look poor at these guys. Yeah. And they're like feeding them and like squirting stuff on them. And it's like, oh my God, it's so <laughs> fucking, I mean, it feels, it's pure, man. Can I say that? Um, and so where I was going with that was that if you watch the, if you watch Lick It Up video and you watch Girls, Girls, Girls by Motley Crue, it's like very similar. They're in like yeah. caveman times, but all the men are gone time. and they're corralling women into these pens with torches yeah it's pretty fucked up but pretty hot at the same yeah. time it wouldn't happen today um yeah it i wouldn't uh, fly, it wouldn't fly today last weekend we won four tickets to motley crew yes. concert in august with yeah, limo did. to and from yeah we did it's gonna be sick on the field in a box i heard that i was gonna go anyways but like like yeah there was four tickets we're going with my aunt and uncle Dope. so what the ones that I always run into at yeah. Yeah, rock Marlene concerts? And Scott, yeah, 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 yeah. They go to a lot of concerts. All right, that's, so they would, they would, they would fit in with us. They're that's like up to OG. You guys. They're like OG eighty. Well, no, they bid with us. Like, they were there. Oh, they were there. Yeah, so, yeah, they were there with us. So yeah, they so, were bidding against Molly Crew, song. Poison, Def Leppard, and Joan Jett. <sighs> Too bad you can't bring concert. Quinn. He's old enough to enjoy that. I took Kira to kiss when she was like. I don't know if Quinn would. That's not Quinn. No, we're going. King's going with me. Quinn. That's not Quinn's music. Quinn. No, but just to go to a real proper yeah. rock concert and see yeah, that kind true. of shit. That's would be, true. It'd be nice to do that one time. Yeah. He's eleven. Yeah. So okay. It's so weird. What's your song? Look it up. You got it by Kiss. Okay. My song kiss. is a newer one, Avenged Sevenfold. Um, oh, I love Hail em. to the King. Love it. Yeah, em. we just watched. I listened to it at the gym. We listened love to it em. on the way here. It was good. Yeah, they did two. Okay, so you know how I know who they are. Yeah, they they sound like an old school, uh, like Metallica. They're great, they're yeah. fucking great. You know how I know who they are? They did two songs for a video game, Black Ops Zombies. Oh and, yeah. yeah, and it was an Easter egg you had to unlock on the level, and when you hit all the right things, all of a sudden you hear doom, the guitar kick on, <laughs> Shepherd of Fire. It's oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Shepherd of Fire yeah. song comes on, and you're on the fucking ripping machine guns at zombies, yeah. and it's like you're, if you're high on weed, it's a great experience. I'm gonna tell you right <laughs> now. now I walk into the little gym. Bit, little bit mushrooms is pretty fun too. <laughs> now I walk into the gym this week with um, let the body sit the floor. Ah, drowning that's pool. always oh, been on my gym good. playlist. That's yeah, good. so I've been getting strong, strong, stronger like lately. So I have. Uh, it's interesting. So. It's inter- interesting helping. you mentioned that. I have two gym playlists. And one is like the light side of the force and one's like the dark yeah. side of the force. Depends How on what kind you? of lift I'm I have answering. some rap on oh, mine too. Okay. So like Four songs. example, on my light side of the force playlist, I have like piano from like Bruce Lee, the dragon, uh, 
Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Yeah. There's some great piano on that, if you've ever seen it. Mm-hmm. And it reminds me of like Kung yeah. Fu and Karate. Kung, Kung Fu. Yeah, it keeps me in a peaceful, harmonic place. And then I have, um, you know, like... The more angrier stuff. Well, I have like the Thundercat song on there. Yeah. Or I have like yeah. Voltron on there. Like the... Get ready to form Voltron. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know, that it gives me like you a, up? gives me like a burst of strength of mid set. I have like Indiana Jones theme on there, the oh, Superman theme. I never thought of those. I have the Anvil of Crom from Conan when at the beginning when they're forging the sword. Boom, boom. boom. Ba- Basil yeah. Paladoris did that. That's song. a good. That's a good idea. I only have Rocky Four. I have some Rocky on there, but then the dark side of Forest is like Papa Roach, uh, oh, hey. you know, Drowning Pool, like nice. basically like two thousands rock. Like you got to get some uh, oh, kids that were System fucking... of the Down going. In yeah, there all too. that yeah, shit. Like, yeah, you know, gets you angry. Gets yeah. you want to, you know. If I went to the gym, I'd probably do that too. Oh, so can I talk about something? There's a what? video that just came out. Um, Dan of a guy. Dan what. You're the co-host and executive producer of the show. All right, let me just you say You can talk something. about anything all you right, want. So, so there's a video <laughs> surfacing in all like the fitness um, YouTube channels with this guy in the gym was like doing dumbbell presses on his back and this other guy walked over with like a 45 on plate and he faked like he tripped and smashed the guy in the face. He Ooh. picked it up actually in the air and smashed him in the face and crushed his skull. The guy survived, but then he faked like he hurt his ankle and like he tripped. Saying this happened in real yeah, life. Yeah, and then threw a towel on and said, "Yeah, it's, it was a big talk about." It was like a mal- it was fucked up. It was a malicious act. Yeah, that the guy oh, faked it. It didn't accident. happen this week, but the guy just got sentenced to eighteen months or something. With, That's it. And like, yeah, and he what? like in time served. And it's like that guy should have been. He's a psychopath, and he should be removed from society. Right? Did he ruin? It's insane. Did he ruin that other dude? Of like, course. Yeah. Yeah. Ruined wow. his life. So yeah. So this is. I like watching crazy videos like that, but. Oh, yeah, you can go down a real oh, dark. rabbit hole. Oh, Dan will stand in they the kitchen. They have Reddit's whole Reddit's oh, dedicated. Dan will stand in the kitchen for hours on holes, and I'm like, hey, hey, I'm a, what, what do we, can you we sit? <laughs> I like family. Derek from More Plates, More Plates, More Dates. That's a good YouTube channel. Mm. What kind of like time globally is being just. I mean, you can't really say it's a waste because when you're watching something, it's like semi educational, even if it's not real. I mostly watch educational. How much I, time I globally you think it's spend people just looking at a phone with their mouth open and being like, like my, oh my, my mouth God. is closed, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. It might be open to, you know, put something in there and then I'll hey, put yo. I'll put I didn't mean in there. it like that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, well, maybe sometimes. You looked right at it. But I can't really yeah, watch. At, he, gets, at me. he gets offended if I watch stuff while I do it. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> watch stuff while you do what? <laughs> it's like. Watch TV? It's like yeah. on Seinfeld. Why you blow me? That's not cool. <laughs> yes. See? See? Who wants to do? See? Like George on Seinfeld? Exactly. Yeah, like when you eat a sandwich. <laughs> figure out a way to eat a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> like come up and bite a Jesus. sandwich and go back down. See? But what that's why I don't do it, so I don't. There's not even a TV within the vicinity. But I could have my you can phone get a good like, TikTok on your session in. Yeah, good TikTok session in while that's going you on. You don't want to do that. No, no, no. I could just listen, put up listen, 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 listen. Oh, yeah, right I've been getting oh. leaner and more muscular. Yeah, oh, oh, and, I won't and, stand up anymore. And it's looking like last last year she had to push my belly out of the way so she could get to my dick. <laughs> and now this year I'm getting better and especially in the shadows, it look really good. So that's it. <laughs> So yeah, the shadows, shadows, which is where I live. Speaking of, uh, I live in the shadows. Speaking of psychopaths and the gym, Maka, what's on my phone right now? If you, if you please. Por favor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is an application by the Com- for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. <laughs> what? To the Division of Professional Licensure. A state athletic commission, an application for amateur fighter's license. You got it. Wow. What's a- up with amateur, that? What does that mean? Amateur what? It's, an, it's, a license. License. it's a license for uh, to fight in the ring in Massachusetts. Oh, oh, For, oh, for oh, M- oh. MMA style. So you want to do that? I thought you said amateur firefighter. I was like, wait, what? I These want. can be like 20 years old. No, 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 no. You're this is for seniors. This is for the guy from the gym that fought oh, me in the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have you seen him? I saw him it's once. It's been two weeks. I've been. I'm training to fight him right now. He just doesn't know it. And I've already downloaded. You, you should and, tell him to train. Yeah, no, you listen, should. listen. I've already. Oh I, I need every edge I can get. I'm crippled. Okay. And he's bigger. He's bigger <laughs> than. Me to walk up to him like a like a no. like a like he's, a briefcase. He, he's bigger like, than and, me. Like, open it in front of him. And be like, listen. All right. This is the deal. 
a few years ago, and I'll tell him the whole thing. Do you want just me to be like, I can here's a contract. You think it'll? You think we'll have a higher rate of success? I think we'll accept like, who the, the fight fuck is this freak third, after me? This the third case. <laughs> nah, you're gonna be in a tuxedo or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. bandana yeah. or a tuxedo T-shirt that yeah. would be classy. And I, if you're scared, I don't own a if you're scared the day of, I can always just come out and like Tanya Harding his ass no. too. There's an application, and I need. That's a good idea. You have you have to have a promoter and a manager too. So you might have to get involved as like my manager or my promoter. Yeah. But I'm going to tell this dude because I've decided that this is a grudge match and I want I want a fair fight one on one. Maybe we can uh, raise money for this. He's, you can have a fundraiser I, for this. Not, everyone made fun Charity. of me. Everyone made fun of me. And they were like, oh, but you know what? You know who has great ideas? Geniuses and insane people. Because they go we hand know, in hand. We know hundreds of people who have come to that fight. So, yeah. So oh, this yeah. dude oh, this God, dude yeah. thinks he's something. All the meatheads and Drake, they dude love th- that fight. This dude my thinks he's something. Too. And uh, <laughs> I, fought him in the, I fought him in the street with, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a hard time handling him, but... Street fight and, and ring fight. Could have been really bit. drunk, too. Yeah, you're right. And I want him one-on-one for the record. One time before I'm too old to do it. Do you think he's about your age? Or he's 45. Think- I talked to him at the gym last time I saw him. I just questioned him real quick. I was like, you hang out at this place? The bar that the yeah, bar yeah, question? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's, he basically was like, I used to, but I'm too old for that shit. And I was like, oh, how old are you? He's like 45. And I was like, you're a big mm. boy because he was fucking bigger than me. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm about 245. I'm trying to keep it or whatever. Oh, that's he right. He's relatively right. civil at the gym. He's I don't, trying to keep his weight? I don't think... We're just trying to keep himself jacked, you know? Oh, I don't think jacked. he necessarily knew it was me because uh, uh, my beard is white and I right. or whatever, and I was wearing shades, but 100%. He definitely next, didn't know it was you. 100%. The next time I see him, it's going down one of three ways. <laughs> I'm telling him... I'm very matter-of-factly, non-aggressively telling him, like, listen. Duel. I want... A fair fight, you and me. I have white gloves. Yeah, I was gonna I say have you have with a glove and slap no, him in the face. I'm gonna tell him I will pay for the fucking license application fees. I want us to get licensed. <laughs> Just I'll, show him your phone. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna lay it all out. I'm like, I'll give you three months to train, whatever you want. Six <laughs> months if you guys want to really go nuts and promote it and really go hard. And uh, he's either gonna accept or he's not. We should do it around. He your might birthday. want to fight me right on the spot. Around which is your option birthday, two. we could do it around your birthday. And option three is he just we can just squash it totally and be like we're cool, we're too old for that shit, and we're all good. You should have a thumb. But I feel like you don't thumb want war. Option three. But you I want option three. No, I want option number one. You want? I want, do, I want, you I want, want to challenge it. a duel. I want to do it. I want to fight you in the ring up. so nobody yeah. can kill each other, but we can seriously hurt each other if we have. So what to. kind of fight is it? What are the rules? Is it like think, like are these MMA? I like I would like MMA rules because. One of you has to get knocked out or tapped out, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. what happens if if I get my arm dislocated? The the ref doesn't stop the fight. I can keep fighting. No, they, I think they medically have. To. Well, no, if they don't know you did it. Yeah, you got to fake it. Yeah, don't don't tell them. Yeah. Where does this happen? That's why I'm getting a license, man. I want to get a license. I want to get a license application this, this to fight in the area that would probably We're, host. It. And then yeah. we have to just it's just a matter of like saying, hey, I'm, and if we did it for charity, someone will eventually will say yes. Just Shout keep, out to listen, the Songus Arena. It's fucking doable. <laughs> it never happened. It's it's on my it's on okay. my it's on my shout list. out to Lowell Automotive. <laughs> Lowell Memorial Auditorium. Auditorium. Lowell Automotive. <laughs> it's you on get my, all your car needs. I don't know. I'm just telling you. I've got a I've got an amateur fighters. There's application. plenty of gyms. There's big. Downloaded kind of on my town. downloaded on my a phone and ready to go, and that I'm I'm genuinely wanting a like a straight up match with this dude. A, a duel. You want a challenge for a duel, like we talked about in the previous. I episode. want to fight him one on one in front of a crowd with for the record. For the record. It's for the record. <laughs> history for the record of history and space time yeah. in this universe, in this reality. UFOs. I mean, it's just... <laughs> and you think that's crazy. Consciousness. I mean, I think it's absolutely crazy, but... But would you go? Yeah, of okay. course. Would I would you go like to anything see... that you're... Would you, your would, you, your cup, would you like to see it? No. Why? I don't want to see you fight. You I've seen go? I want to see, I like seeing him peaceful. You wouldn't I've seen go? him fight. You wouldn't go? I, I would have to go to anything he does. Oh, okay. He could be reading okay. poetry okay. in in a in a corner for money. I'll wa- watch this guy do it. <laughs> you wouldn't watch it. He's an entertainer. You wouldn't watch a gentleman. You wouldn't watch a gentleman's exhibition. I, <laughs> would you? I watch? would. I didn't yeah. say I wouldn't watch it. I just don't want it's it to happen. To be an exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Just telling you. <laughs> It's on my it's on my list in real life. That's right. project right I'm working. It, it, it's it, right it, next. It's one of your projects. It's right next to the milking table it's, in the metaverse. Yeah, 
It's up there. Well, that's it. I mean, the metaverse. The, wait, is real. no, the milking table fact. What was it? Factory or some <laughs> Mil- fucking milking shit? Table. Facility. 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 Thank yeah. you. What is the milking table again? Is it a jerk off table? It's yeah. The, basically, this table oh, with a hole. Cut a, in with it. a I, hole, yeah. I cut a hole right here. You'll just lay down. And then there's, uh, I'm underneath. Somebody, person yeah. of your choice, would go under there. If you're play on with it, your I'm junk. underneath. Yeah. <laughs> play with your junk until you had a release. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, the milk. It's, uh, you're you not, know, you know that, should be, that should be a normal thing because there are incels and guys out there who can't get laid. And, like, yes. that's not fair. That's discrimination against them, first of all. You're not going to Thailand with them. A lot of places. No, I'm not going to Thailand. A I, lot of. I'm fine. I'm just saying that, I know there are guys that aren't fine, and they should be able to go get a. No, I. Agree. It, or at least they won't be shooting up. Get a milking. Shit. Get a milking. Yeah, get a milking once in a while. They won't be doing anything weird. Oh, they'll still be doing weird shit, probably. Yeah, I mean, milking is the is kind of like a what That's do they call mar- it's a, wow. What do they call marijuana back in the day? What did they say that was? A, a gateway. A gateway. gateway. Oh yeah. Now, you know, so you mil- think so next? You, think- you know, you're under a coffee table so with glass, and they're taking a shit on it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a crime. <laughs> I'm not it's, a lawyer, and I don't know if that's a crime. Listen, uh, yeah, I don't think it, unless, uh, I'm almost positive Vicky, that. Vicky, I need oh, you no. to puke as on my chest as while I jerk like, off. As, yeah. as long as everybody consents, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but I'm almost positive that chick that was on the show last year, Alizé, the, the, yeah. the dominatrix, she, she literally makes it. I never met a, her. I never pff, met probably her. for the best. Yeah. The, the, she didn't like her. The, there was a... I wasn't a She fan. makes a living, <laughs> like, going around and doing, like, you know on the border illegal shit like, mm. like right. it's oh it, it's right on the line like oh yeah, i'm sure you know, it's like yeah. an escort service or something like right. that but she's pooping on people or letting them or poop on her or yeah yelling at them calling them derogatory things but kicking them in the balls yeah just weirdo shit that's like not technically illegal it's under prostitution not weirdo. Laws, it's... but some there's a niche for it they all you know everybody's got their fucking weird thing man can i just say that first of all we talked about it off air pre-show and uh you know, the intro to the show is reality, mm-hmm. UFOs, science, consciousness, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah. If memory serves. Right. That That's might it. not be a real thing. And that yeah. might not be a real the thing. Podcast. So we want to we want to focus kind of in on on uh, I, I want us to focus in on those on that stuff. And I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. But I think we're doing a good job. Today I'm at, so this is what I'm talking to you about, right? Today, today I'm at CVS and there's a girl with a tattoo of like, she had point, point of fact, she had a mushroom tattoo uh, on one arm, but which I love that people love mushrooms so Cordes much that they mu- feel compelled. What kind of mushroom was it? They feel, I don't know. Red the, mushroom? With, with the white dots. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Quint- yeah, yeah. The old Quint- like quintessential Mario yeah, yeah, Brothers yeah, yeah. looking mushroom. Yeah, but, yeah. 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 The best so, one. So like that's not Cortez as mushroom. That's um, they say that was involved with Jesus and stuff. But well, there's one, there's one, that, there's one that's like poisonous. Yeah, and there's like one that's hallucinogenic, yeah. and there's Alice one that's Wonderland. just like a regular mushroom that gives you like an immunity boost, and they are almost indistinguishable. Yeah. Those right. those three. So you got to be real careful if you find that red white spotted shroom because you got a one in three chance of having a great time, boosting your immune system, or dying. <laughs> right. a horrible that's death. That's quite too. a dice roll. <laughs> You're like shitting and pissing. It could be a fun time. It's like, it's like Russian, I don't know my it's, age. I'll take those. It's books. Russian roulette. Yeah. You're, it's nature's Russian roulette. Double the, du- double the odds at one of three instead of one out of six. Yeah, right. We're playing traditional Russian roulette six shooter style, you know? Um, So a- I'm at CVS and I'm talking to the girl because she has tattoos and I'm like saying, you know, I'm giving her a card for the show. And she's naming all the scientific names for the different hominids and she's talking to me about Bigfoot. She like Bigfoot. Oh, she's she's believes that Bigfoot Damn. exists. It does. And so, and so she asks me, and I was, I was like, no. I she asks me if I've ever been to the cryptozoology in Maine. museum in Maine, in Maine, Portland, Maine. Yes, and I'm and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's I, run by I know who it's run by. I'm like, as a matter of fact, I've never even heard of it. But I tell you what, my co-host would fucking love it, and I wanted to ask you on yeah, air. It's run by uh, Lauren Coleman or something like that. So what? Where is it? What? What's the story? With this um, book? it's just a crypto. Uh, museum run by like one of the top cryptozoologists. Like, is Bigfoot there was, like the center like, of the? Yeah, is he's it, a like, big their Bigfoot guy, focus? but he's everything. He's into. Um, Lauren Coleman's into like everything. Yeah, I mean, there I don't people... know if he's still alive, but it's still there. The the he's like an old school '60s. Like ever since the Patterson Gimlin footage came out, there's been a string of like. Bunch For those of, like, of us who have no idea what that is, please. There's a bunch of serious Bigfoot people after that, and he's one of them. Um, 
It's uh, it was a video, the the original video where Bigfoot's walking through uh, Bluff Creek in California, and, and this is the video and that you said there's... with the with the pendulum tits. It's like nineteen sixty. You said there's no. Seven. You said there's no way they can make a costume back then that looked like that. I don't think that's so. that's the one you're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, I don't think so. People say, oh, whatever, but like it's. I mean, I know costumes, and I know every single gorilla costume that came out in the sixties, and that's not one of them. And a couple cowboys made a gorilla costume, or made you know what I mean? Like it's not. They, and also, they've stabilized it today. They just did the best one ever, I guess. And they zoom in on the face and stuff. And, like, it's not... If they were... If they... They didn't know people going to zoom in like that. Like, Saying they sharpened it and enhanced it. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of it. That, and also, the like, the ratios, like, from elbow to wrist and, like, the feet. And then, like... The, Everything's just yeah, right. Yeah, everything. Oh, it's different than human. There's dermal ridges in the feet, which are, like, fingerprints. They're, like... The steps are, like, 75 inches long, which are, like... We'd have to jump to make those steps, and this thing just walking casually. Just Anunnaki, 12 yeah. feet tall. So anyways, there's, there were a bunch of, like, top Bigfoot people that came after that, like, Grover Krantz, he was a biologist, and now it's um, Dr. Jeff Meldrum's, like, the top, like, professor who's, like, into Bigfoot. He, he's a local human locomotion expert. Yes. And he's into Bigfoot, and he's, a, he's like, one of the reasons why I still hold on to it. So there's, I mean, there are apparently people out there in mainstream society that are really interested in this stuff, and, like, the oh, more, yeah. they want to talk about it's it. It's huge. And this woman, this girl felt compelled enough to get it tattooed on her body, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I was like, yeah, for all sure. right, cool, got those skulls, what do you got? Look, you, you're looking we, ready. There's also well, chicks with fetishes who want to get fucked by Bigfoot, but go on. Right. Well, that I haven't seen that. That's a big thing. I haven't seen that. Is that I, only I'm afraid in, um, to look that up. Do people wear? It'll costumes? fuck up my. No, no. History. They just write stories like <laughs> grabbing the middle of the night and like. They did it on. They did it on the Umbrella <laughs> Academy. Luther was like all hairy and gross. And, oh, they oh, really? did. He went to they some. Did. Uh, they yeah. went to some club called a furry club where like yeah. chicks are into beast beast men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they some like weird people they thought there. he was in like they thought he was in like like they thought he was in like costume. And they, oh. they had a threesome with him. And he had never. Yeah. Any interaction with girls really before. Bigfoot's so smelly. Well, I'm just telling you. You look like you had something you were about well, to Well, yeah, look, sorry. look, look, I know you, you, you wanted to really kind of dive in on some of the things in our opening. Mm-hmm. Reality being one of them. And I, and I think I have a, I have a, that might not be a real thing Ooh. this week. Oh, um, that's really real. Um, and, and something that we probably all dealt with in one way, shape, or form. So, my, <laughs> Um, I'm just going to talk about it and you guys can take a guess at whether you think it's a real thing or not. Okay. Okay. So look. You just um, said it was real. Well, sh- just shut up. Maybe uh, it's real. Maybe, maybe it's, it's not. not. <laughs> all right. It's just something that I think we've all dealt with. Maybe. Maybe I'm selling it. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. So uh, this week, a pop star, a famous pop star uh, was hospitalized. And uh, she was hospitalized with a case of what doctors call trapped farts. Oh, okay. Okay. And the reason why she has she had trapped farts is because she refused to fart in front of her boyfriend. Okay. Is this like if you put food up your ass, you'll shit out your mouth? Kind <laughs> yeah, of yeah, thing? Yeah. <laughs> I've also uh, okay. I don't know. I've read online <laughs> that, and obviously, I you take and you that, do not you take hold that, your farts in, by the way. <laughs> oh no, I'm not no. saying that I do because that's just unhealthy um, right, for everybody yeah. involved. Girls fart. Yes, and we, you know what, we we go number two. Gross. Yeah, People gross, are gross. Right? in the morning. Never mind what we do monthly. Um, I can't believe I'm attracted to you people. I know we're fucking <laughs> aliens that walk among us. Um, I don't remember where I was going with you that. You were saying something about farts and getting trapped, and you oh, read something so on the internet. I, I read something on the internet, and take this with a grain of salt, that if you hold them in for long enough, it gets re-dispersed into your bloodstream, and it can come out like a burp. Ooh, I don't like that. You're saying the gases the move gases from move. inside your gastrointestinal tract. I, they, somehow yes. get into the blood, then yes. back into your stomach. And I mean, it just seems like it would just go back out so the stomach. I, want I heard Google, you float can, away can like on farts, uh, Willy Wonka. Can farts be absorbed into burps? Sure. I mean, I think you could burp them up. Or I don't, transform. No, I think, the, burp, gas, Charlie, I think the gas can go all the way back up. I don't think it goes through your bloodstream. I just think it stays in the intestinal tract. But what if you burp it up? 
if that's you're... what I'm that's what I'm saying that it comes out the other probably way. stinks like methane or something. That's gross. disgusting. Can oh. you light fire with your mouth? I'm, How do you know it's a regular? I'm, I'm fire gonna, listen, I'm gonna fire. Google it. As disgusting it is, your your whole like from your throat to your anus is like a is like a tube with two anuses on it. One's up to the top; it keeps stuff from coming oh, back out. Oh, okay. and the other ones on the bottom only let stuff right. out when you want. Ready? It to. Ready? I just I just googled can farts turn into burps? Okay. okay? This is what it says in big, bold fucking letters. This is the okay. first thing on the internet you find. If you hold a fart in long enough, the gas can be absorbed into your bloodstream, passed into your lungs, and eventually exhaled as a more socially acceptable burp. Damn, did you wow. write that? I feel like you wrote that. That was like that like quote verbatim. What you just- <laughs> <laughs> I think you're feeding us some bullshit. I, I mean, what? Maybe, that might not no, be real. That might not be real. <laughs> We're teaming up. That, We're teaming up. The right, internet right. said that, so it's real. So, what do you? Well, all right, let me finish my story because right, yeah. I feel like the, it's all connected. Because you know, this person didn't make it to the burp stage. Didn't make it to the burp stage, huh? Um, well, I feel so, like it would get to that stage before you you needed like medical. She must have been holding a, a lot of farts in. So. Yeah, that's true. If you hold them in, they could be really painful. She woke up at five thirty with severe abdominal pain and was with her boyfriend at the time, and as a result, had to go to the emergency room. And uh, well, they were trying to figure out what happened. Uh, Girlfriend, just take a bath. What right, the and they uh, spent Light a good some candles. time. Like, <laughs> take a bath by yourself. The they weren't on them. They weren't on farting terms yet. This is a direct it quote. It takes a second. It takes a second. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Shut yeah. up. After this, she uh, she you, know, you took you took me for Chinese food. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> One of our first days of party to sleep. Like, this girl just fucking farted. Really, lo- really smelly. <laughs> Ma- married her and had four kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank didn't, you. Didn't thank didn't you. It, so evidence. I like to I like to cup it and snip it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, those are good farts. <laughs> Go ahead. Wrong. Sorry, Some, something wrong with that. Again, it's <laughs> it starts with a milking table and then. <laughs> Um, That's cup and farts is a specialty of there. This woman, this pop star, admitted this. On her Instagram, so she it, has it's a m- pop star that did multi millions yeah, of fans. Pop fart, she's a fart star. <laughs> I'm she's wondering. quoted. She has a quote. Girls, it. okay, don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed to fart in front of your guy. It's uh, it is really embarrassing. But what's more embarrassing is going to the doctors with him to find out you have trapped farts. So he's so like, going for it. I'm letting him rip. I, I think uh, it's a real thing because I think that I think that you, obviously like the blockage like a blockage can occur down there with like yeah. physical like actual yeah. shit can yeah. get like <laughs> yeah. compacted yeah. in that area that doesn't let the gas through and then as your body is building up gases it's just like mm-hmm. you're feeling like you want to explode from the inside right. like when that, we feed my a mom parakeet. Actually- it's called diverticulitis. My mom actually did burst. Yeah, my well, my my dad had that too, but yeah. uh, I don't know if it's from pressure of gas. It's just from it's, it's from inflammation it's, 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 of well, yeah, and it can be the from diverticula. right, exactly, and you can get a blockage. And, and those are all the little. Right there. I farted really loud at the gym, and I know some wormy waves, and I can't like address your, it. Yeah, Nobody can't. talks to each other there. I just wanted to look over at her and be like, I apologize. I was walking and f- farting a couple times at the gym. <laughs> and like I just squeaked my feet a little bit. That was my feet. I was oh, farts. I was like, it's not me. I don't go to the gym with him. He goes at like fucking four in the morning. Who is this broad? Who, what broad? This, oh, you, I mean, is he, it a real thing? I think it's, oh, a, real, I think oh, it's a real oh, thing. Oh, oh, but it's Katy Perry. <laughs> it, no, no. Is it, it's a younger girl. Who, is it a real thing or do you think it's real? Uh, I think it's real. No, I'm going to say fake. Okay, it is real. Oh. <gasps> But it's a popular Brazilian singer. Uh, Had you guys uh, thinking it was an American? I was gonna say Week. no American pop star would be like, oh my god, because sure, all the all poker. the girls now would be like, fuck you, I'm farting and I'm yeah. not shaving my armpits and or my legs right, or right. Like, shave your armpits, ladies. Well, I think Americans are selling their farts. That's no. the weird part about that. Yeah. That the woman from Ninety oh, Day yeah. Fiance. <laughs> yeah. I wear panties around and thongs and I sell those. No, he doesn't. In Mad Max, in Mad Max, in Mad Max, Someone's beyond. Call me out. 150 bucks if you want to buy a pair. No, I wear them for no, a week. That's not true because this I isn't tried. Japan. I my butt and everything. No, this isn't that, Japan, dude. I tried to get in on that 
Her friend does it. Yeah, one of my friends does it. And I was like, Dan, we can make some so, serious cash. He's like, selling oh. a used underwear. Selling my used underwear. In the United I'm States? I'm thinking it's a good yeah, idea yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You could yeah. even do the foot. What's the big yeah, I don't even know feet, where it's going. Yeah, oh, I, I don't really care anymore. Yeah, feet pictures. Put it in the Pringles sinks when they pop the top. Oh, I'm Get sure. Sniff. Dude, in Japan, they've had it forever. Really? And, and it's yeah. exactly like what you're talking about. It's an air se- airtight air, yeah. can <laughs> that when you open it up, you get that. I was saying I should do it because I'll just tell them. Well, no, they would know the difference, wouldn't they? This is a guy's butt. They're, they're just feeding girls broccolis, and you know, and they're just sitting on fucking like vacuums, and they just fucking oh. fart and they can it. That's Jesus. it. Jesus, people are disgusting animals. How did we? Oh, shit. How do we? You know what? Let me just talk about. Everybody this. loves somebody, man. <laughs> I'm watching right now. I love science fiction, and shout out right now to HBO because they've got a lot of great. If you, if you don't, if you want to watch some great sci-fi right now, watch HBO. I haven't what watched a, got, anything other than anime. They've in got. A very long time. It's all right. There's a lot of. I can't. It's a lot to watch. They've got um, Raised by Wolves, which is that like a few. Cool. It's great. It's a futuristic. Uh, takes place on another planet. Humans have essentially <clears throat> blown up Earth in a religious war between atheists and believers. Okay. And. Um, both atheists and believers basically send like an arc yeah of survivalists out into space and they both for whatever reason choose to recolonize on this one planet Mm -hmm. which doesn't make any sense to me because like if you're going out just want you go that way i'll go this way we'll see you later yeah obviously i don't know they end up on this planet and uh they have these uh embryo like the first the opening scene is these two androids landing on the planet and they have super sophisticated androids they're basically as as good as a human would would yeah. like like data. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And they're raising these embryos of humans, and they're raising them to believe in like self reliance and not prayer and blah blah blah. But then the religious group lands on the on the planet, and and they're called the uh, Mithrix Mithraix, yeah. and uh, the Mithraix. And why did you watch any of it? I watched some of it. Oh boy. Hello. Hey. <laughs> then you, you got you watch stuff. You got <laughs> what? So, so that was two seasons, and Travis Fimmel from Vikings was in it. So I, I, I oh, like, I like the, him. The show's the show's good, and um, it's a, some stuff. It's like a little bit like unexplained, and I hate when they do sci-fi and they don't give you some kind of an explanation of something like how that right. operates. But whatever. And um, they they have another show, uh, The Foreigners. Which takes it's it's actually in Swedish, and you got to watch it either dubbed in English or with American subtitles. I uh, English subtitles. I recommend. Can, you know what? Can we just call it American subtitles no. at this point? No, oh, that's horrible, Kingsley. No, um, because uh, it's the, they don't speak you're right. American. You're right. In the UK. You're right. Fuck the Brits. No, hey, you're right. Hey, hey. You're right. You're right. It's, it's like half of my genetics, King's, bro. It's the King's All English. Right. All right. <laughs> It's probably half of mine too. By God rape. save the queen. Yeah. Well, you know, by uh, rape and pillage with no with a we, false. We can't. We can't. God you know, um, choose our our background. That's true. Like anybody else. I chose mine. I chose mine too. My name means God's gracious gift. So, my, Sean. That's right. Mine means uh, the king's wood it's a long, west it's of the a valley. Long explanation. Yeah. The King's Wood, west of the valley. My name means it's the most British thing ever. The lot. <laughs> <laughs> My name means the launders. They launder yeah. laundry. Like three brothers launderers yeah. or something. Dan. My no. dad, wow. uh, a Greek. Uh, he was like a Greek George Washington. I'm like, well, no. He, he no, showed he me wasn't. pictures. Look, we look just like him. I'm like, yeah, dad. Ten generations ago, we look just like him. I mean, That's how genetics work. Why not? It is kind nah, of. Nah, it doesn't. Follow. You'd eventually. It gets washed out eventually. No. And we're all related on a big enough scale. No, it's they're like recessive of genes that surface there are but like we're not related to him first of all it's a fucking guess we're related to we found out what the name means it means the launders it's like bakers or baker smith or my my name is pretty sure just named after jesus christ they just made the name christopher and they were like christos yeah no that's first (laughs) no last last name we're talking well my whole name is first name comes from danny and the lion different now because i got married but you should you should get to rename yourself when you're a certain age in our society i would love to i want to be alistair a lot of a lot of cultures. Would you be one name, like, or have just, a? No, I, I just, yeah, no, I, I keep my last name, like, but I would just say my name's Alice. So I'd have to call you Alistair and Alice, Alice. 
Maybe. Yeah. No. Until a certain point when she. I didn't want to name. name the kids Quentin and Dean because I was like, nah, 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 nah. I okay, don't want to say I'll, Alice I'll, and I'll Alice. Lucifer, or... maybe, or something like that. You want to change your name to Lucifer, Prince, yeah. of, Prince of Darkness? Yep. I mean, you could do that. I'll call you know you, my idea I'll call for a movie? You, I'll call you Lucy. I have an idea for a movie. Um, um, Black Jack, Black, what is it? Um, what? Uh, Black Jack Salve, uh, Sabbath. 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 No, I can't Black even talk about Jack it. Sabbath. Black Jack Sabbath. It's where Jack Black goes back into the past. And he takes Ozzy's place. Yeah. In a time machine, and Ozzy's <laughs> an old man, like a regular straight white man. Time out. Time out. You, and he you has created this yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah I sent it your, to Jack Black. This is your Jack project. Jack Black Sabbath. That, that's, yeah. pretty, that's pretty. He that's, he takes and he becomes like the lead singer of Black Sabbath, and Ozzy's just like a regular old man, and he's like, "Oz oh, used to be the lead singer of Black Sabbath," and like, "Okay, Grandpa," okay, and like, he, and he guy. ends up having to go back and get the fight him for the um an old uh, Jack Black to get to the time machine to go back in time to become Ozzy again. Ozzy again, yeah, yeah. Wow. Time travels trippy stuff. Yeah. That's wow. my story. That would be that's what I said to he, Jack Black, but I can't get a message to him. He he I remember when he sent it, he was like so excited to come around the corner. He's like, You'll never guess what I just did. It's I'm genius. Like, all right. Alice all right, told man. me, she goes, Can you send Le- LeBron James a message? I'm like, sure. <laughs> Specifically? He only has a yeah. hundred million followers. <laughs> Alice sure. Alice we'll wants to get in it. touch with LeBron James. Yeah. Did, How yeah. old is she right now? She's eight. eight. She's an eight year old girl. Yeah. She play hoops? No, she no. just thinks he's awesome. No, yeah. is it because is know. it because of Space Jam? Movie? She's three foot nine. Yeah, probably. She just went to a um her first what was it uh, S- girl all girl sleepover? Yeah, like slumber party. Slumber oh, party. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, she's eight. She's huh? just got a question for yeah. you know LeBron, LeBron James. James. Yeah. yeah. What does she want to know? What does she want to know? She probably. I don't remember. I I sent them. Probably message. asked him if he wanted a Sprite cranberry or some stupid shit. <laughs> What the hell does an eight year old girl so want to ask Black LeBron James? Jack Black did not James. leave a message, but I think Jack would like this movie. I think he I would think, too, because he's covered Sabbath songs as Tenacious D, like That's on right. like on like the Tonight Show. And no, stuff. he's legit. Uh, rock. He could yeah. sing rock. Yeah, he would love that movie. Oh yeah, he could. do wow. that would be hysterical. Like you said, they have a lot of people. It's like it's like when you write a letter to Santa. You know, maybe he gets it, maybe he doesn't. Yeah, I, Elon Musk has really yet hard. to return any of my Jack correspondences. Black <laughs> Jack Black Sabbath. I Sorry, think- Declan. I send I send Elon Musk. Well, I actually just send it to the SpaceX general email and hope that it filters up to Elon Musk. But when I have like a killer idea, like one time I was walking down the street and I was like ripped, right? And it was like snowy out, and I was like, "What the fuck is all this shit?" I'm like, I'm walking down the street right now, and I'm fucking there's snow all over the place. And meanwhile, in Madagascar, they don't have any clean drinking water. I was like. How hard is this, people? And in like in like a thirty second flash of creativity, I I figured the whole god's damned thing out. You you make the street at a slight angle so that all the water slopes off of it, and you make the street itself out of a some sort of transparent conductive, as in it conducts electricity, uh, material that's rubbery enough to grip your tires, but also can provide tactile power to the vehicles driving on it, which they, they, they play around with that technology in Japan already. They have these like streets and if you drive on them, they power your vehicle. It's like when you put your cell phone down and it charges the tactile charger, make that for the cars. That's not my idea. They're doing it in Japan right now. Why, why don't we just implement that and at the same time make the entire surface area of all the roads in the entire world solar? So that 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 material stores energy, channels it back to a central place during the winter. It heats up the road and melts the ice. All that water gets channeled into, you know, massive plumbing things, piped into a station, cleaned, bottled, exported to Madagascar, wherever else they need the the water. Right. And um, I don't know. There's some other stuff we could do with that, too. But I came up with it in like 30 seconds. Has he long gone back to you? Uh, no. I don't think so. No, I, he hasn't returned any of my correspondences. <laughs> but when I have good ideas like that, they go straight to SpaceX because those are the people that can, they have the resources to get it done. They may have taken it in and been like, all right, let's test this idea let's out. Let's do and find this. Out let's see if the math can work impossible. on this. How many yeah. ideas do you think people send them, though? Other guy, other people that are like Thousands. legit geniuses must be like, God, I have this great patent, but I'm never going to get it going. Better send it to Elon. <laughs> Probably actually not as many as you think. A lot like, of people this hate is mine. Elon. Yeah, this Why? is mine. This is just mine. Do. Yeah. Jealousy? I think oh. it probably, I, these things happen a lot, but maybe not just to SpaceX. Time out. Time I think they think he's an asshole. This, like is, this is getting too. personal. What? 
Oh yeah, that's your boo. People people don't like Jeff. Your boo. Be- people don't that's like your Jeff Bezos. Milk biscuit. People no, don't like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> no, he's a dick. And, and I say to myself, well, I never. I met, guess he got Jack now though. I never met the guy, but he did create Amazon, which, you know, it's hard to quantify the the good versus the bad that the guy's done, right? Because like what? Jeff Bezos. The, oh, the I Amazon thought you guy, said Elon. Everybody Musk. hate. We everybody. On, everybody's like, on what? like an anti. We're gonna get back rant. to him. Every, oh, okay. Yeah, everybody's on an anti Bezos rant, uh, rant the last two years, and it's because he's like super wealthy and he's like running around doing super wealthy type shit. But like that's what the guy. I did. think that's why they're hating on him though. Yeah, but like also they're like he's a shitty boss. He works his employees like dogs, and there's like all kinds of other stuff. But I haven't heard shit about Elon Musk negative, other than you know he's there's like a lot of it totally, on Reddit and stuff. He's yeah. nuts, but like you know somebody has to be. Yeah, yeah. He's his mission is to get humans on like two Mars. planets. Yeah. It doesn't have to yeah. be Mars. He just thinks that's the most feasible in our lifetime. I don't think we're like, ever going to see it. In he our thinks lifetime. that he thinks it's mission critical for our the survival of our species to basically double down on our you know, he's like, hey, I think it's probably a good idea. But like Let's, after Mars, like they're all like gas giants and then fucking like we're just sitting ducks cold here. ass planets so then what do you do you get hotter you go to fucking venus like venus is way too hot i don't know what to tell them what do you want me to do like humanity can't Literally, last you can forever go to, like the moon and to mars yeah but they're also thinking about neither... like light, light speed type shit too yeah but humanity can't last forever you know it's just like it's gonna burn out no eventually. it's gonna burn out eventually it's like i mean do we have a responsibility why? why yeah why just gonna we could evolve all right, so in like, in like, even if we evolve, we don't get off this planet. This planet's eventually well, statistically going to have a ma- catastrophic disaster. In right? yes, in pretty Star, sure COVID in Stargate, really just did that. Nah, <laughs> COVID, yeah. In Stargate, there the, the it humans, fucked with us, but it wasn't a catastrophic disaster. In Stargate, the humans eventually reach bad. a point of consciousness where they dematerialize from matter and turn into just streams of raw energy. Yeah. Whatever that even looks like, I don't know. Uh so yeah, I guess that could happen. Anything could happen. I'm not a master of physics. I barely understand the basics of the basics, but like you could convert possibly into something else, but like humanity as we know it, society, it's, you know, our species itself, we're eventually either going to evolve into something so different that we're not even recognizable to like us, or we're just going to burn out and die. Mm. Nothing lasts forever. One of the things I wanted to talk about on the show this week, that's because I got... I had the just the tip segment, which had originally started out with trying to teach young awkward guys how to get some puss, some pun- some punani. I think that's a nice noble thing. Though, it is, doing. it is, and I. Sorry, Ted. It's I, also I, really cringy, though. Well, <laughs> I've decided that my just the tip. I also want to focus more on on like helping people that have like depression or just trying to help people yeah, be more positive better. and happy. Yeah. No, I think it's important to help goofy young kids learn to get laid, but like it's, yeah. it's not for everybody. But my my just the tip for this week is it's not necessarily a tip. It's just shining a light on part of like what the human experience is about, and it's it's part of who we are. So it's not something that you can like necessarily get rid of completely. But I think if you can minimize it. Um, you live a happier life. I don't know. One of the, one of the things with humans is that we're never satisfied. We're very curious species. We always want to see what's over there. I don't know. Do you know? No. We should go check it out. Oh God, that guy we just sent over there never came back. Do we go check it out again? More risk, more people. You know, we send do, more people, and we do. We just keep going places. People die. We're like, mm. we didn't do that right. Turned we got, out, we got a turned new, out new there plan. were sharks, and there were. Let's get a boat. You know, there's you know. It doesn't matter how many of us die. We want to explore. We want to expand. That's part of who we are. But what I'm talking about today is a fucked up thing. In economics, they call it the law of diminishing marginal utility or diminishing marginal returns. It's essentially like it's 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 similar to um, scarcity and it's similar to supply and demand, except that it's just it's like the more of something you have, the less valuable it is to you. Right. But it's also the longer you have something, the less valuable it becomes to you because it just becomes static in the background. Mm-hmm. All right. So like when you get a new car, 
you're like so jazzed and happy most of the time. You're like, yeah. I mean, you know, for people that have the privilege to go out and buy like a brand new car in their life, they get this experience of like, oh, it's my brand new car and I love it. And you, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. But sure enough, six, seven years down the road, most people fucking hate that piece of shit car. <laughs> they want to fucking kick it. They, they've, they, they, they just fucking hate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like something happens over the course of time. The car starts to break down a little. It's not as new anymore. But basically what it is is you just got used used to it and you don't like it anymore yeah and it's like yeah and like if you got to learn to shut that off inside yourself like with things and, well, i see and, what you're saying and and settle in with what you have and appreciate it you know what i mean no and i like, like new things i know you like new things like for me though like i just bought a piece of luggage shaped like a coffin i'm a, i'm a i'm a minimalist not a hoarder like an awesome you really did i really did it was a sale it's awesome well you should have a coffin yeah my my cousin for like a million reasons. My cousin has one that we just need a truck to go. Pick. I got a new wallet too. It's sick. Let me see. Would it. you guys ever like like a coffin same shaped company. bed? Oh yeah, I would do that. Like a bigger one. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I, yeah, I'll tell you I, right I, now. If I didn't have a wife and kids, I'd be sleeping in a coffin every time. <laughs> no, if we if we could <laughs> find one like that, that would be bad. Not like a that like is a, a demonic wallet. Yeah, watch so, this. Ready? I think. Shut yeah, the door. No, nah. no, no, With no, no, great no, no, no. organizational capacity. No, that's too much. Yeah. Let me see your license. So, is that a fat? Is that a Jeff yeah? Moon uh, face? That's I, a, it used to be a skinny photo of me. That that's twenty one year old Dan. What? Yeah. You just had a bigger jawline. What is it? It looks. Oh yeah, you were straight. You were straight edge back then. Yeah, not really. Oh, polo shirt. No, that's oh, like, yeah. like dress. His dress. Yeah, oh. yeah. He was very Guido, like yeah. po- like dress shirts with like about that. sweater remember. vests yeah. Yeah. and yep. short haircuts. I won't bring up my scarf by and the way. Di- diamond earrings. Listen, I said if you said scarf, calories, protein, or there was some other I fucking lost word, scarf. I was gonna take event. shots. I was like, devastated. Yeah, I was grieving. It's my make favorite. Make it a drinking game. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I bought another one. You've heard enough I of it at home. It. Yeah, everywhere. Or a podcast or just no, 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 in. at home, not on the podcast. So, so you, you just don't want to hear it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he he will track what You're right, buddy? what I I want you to do it right right on the mic so everyone can really get the effect of the fucking velcro. All right, I'm here. Yeah, no, she won't. She doesn't want to talk about anything I'm interested in. No, well, it's not that. It's just I'm not. I'm not interested in counting my calories. I didn't you think about Tonga to. Ali or you getting this to. new herb. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Wait, can I finish diminishing my Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even really have an exercise on how to do it exactly. I think it's just you got to like be aware of that. Like for me, it's easy because like I've been to places where people have nothing. So like when you see people that have nothing and you come back to this country and you come back to the abundance of stuff that we have, you just like have to be happy. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I cherish things that I that are older that I I they never get old for me. I right. cherish them. Like my scarf, I lost like. Fuck your scarf! Like no, I'm just saying. Like I liked it, and I and it's like it wasn't getting like old to me. Like I my le- like my leather jacket. I've it. had it for 22 years. Yeah. it's like yeah. Indiana Jones's jacket. That thing has been the hat through the adventure. Yeah, all right. And no, um, yes, I understand that the symbol for Indiana Jones is his hat, but he also has a cool the jacket. Jacket right. and my jacket is similar Disney to his World. in I that see. it's traveled and gone on I adventures see. and see. been in fights and made love to women and. It's it's had a wild ride. I'm picking it. up what you're putting down. Thank you, thank you. So if you if you can, people at home with whatever you got, maybe it's your house, maybe it's your car, maybe it's your like because like everyone's so unhappy. They're like, oh, I want to put oh, let's, let's let's redo the kitchen. That'll make me happy. Let's redo um. Let's I don't like this car anymore. I'm gonna. Well, buy they get little hits of like of like dopamine. Like, I know that. I know that. But th- th- when when the absence of those hits of dopamine, the opposite of that is the the down spike. It's the depression and like the unhappiness. Right. It's also right. a sense of impatience and yeah, a bunch of things like 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 when I was in my twenties, like I was talking to somebody this week about how like I had a voice in my head that said, "Take the easy way out. Go back to sleep. Like don't be like fucking." Don't go to work today. Like oh, that's you know a mean? fight. Kind of that's thing. a fight everyone has to fight every yeah, day. I, mean, I don't have it anymore though. My voice says, "Get the fuck up." Yeah, right now. It's awful. For the past like five years, it has. I think it's just like a. I think it's like a habit thing. You know, like yeah. I think I think that behavior is habitual. That's what I'm talking about. And, behavior and and like and like. You know, basically, it's not a secret. Like, if you just really focus on changing one habit and get out of it, and you do it for like a month or two months, eventually you forget. Like, it's not it's not part of your experience anymore, and you can move past I it. I have to so bite my nails. You, you can also focus that same way. You know, 
make it a habit to appreciate your stuff. And, you know, it's like my cell phone. I think cell phones are a great example of this in today's society. Like this thing's a Motorola two-year-old, you know, Android unlocked phone costs like 150 bucks. Fucking does awesome shit. Like this thing's fucking amazing, but it's not as the specs just aren't as good as the current new version. And and like, guess what, assholes? In six iPhone months, the, the, in six months, if you get the best thing right now, in six months, it's not going to be the best yeah, thing. Yeah, slightly though. I know, but like the point is, is like people want to get a new phone like all the time, and they're like, oh, they can't wait for the new phone. I remember yeah. an iPhone 11 to 13, and I don't see much. Camera's a little better. Yeah, but they just want the new phone. They just, yeah, it makes those, them happy. Yeah, there's those people. You know, there's that... a vibrator app on on these phones. You can get a vibrator app for like women. What do you mean? Yeah, stick it down your pants? Yeah, yeah. And you can like turn it up and stuff. And yeah, like, good. Yeah. Oh, that's a thing where it's in you. Vi- there's different. Sets. No, 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 no. The actual phone. The, the phone is vibrator. The phone itself. Yeah, it controls the vibration in the phone. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Cool. Hubba, hubba. There's like different settings. Pretty like, cool. You know, Does, wait, is it aligned wait, with wait. Google? So you can, wait, or Siri? You can be like Siri. No, I no, you can't. Vibration, I like, vibrations. I like, I like to, up. I like to give Siri shit. <laughs> Don't you think so? Vibration is a girl's best friend. No, but like vibration itself. It's, a it's like it's, it's like it's diamonds power tool. and vibration. If you, if, if, like on Howard, that is a tool. My dick can't do that. Like on Howard, <laughs> it can. It's just a slower frequency. Yeah, but it can't. I know it's a slower frequency. I just can't be on that frequency. Like on, you just on, get a little sleeve on private parts. Yeah. when Howard Stern made the I girl one. when she made the girl ride the Sibian and he's going yeah, <laughs> he's making you, the vibration Howard used yeah. to have yeah. chicks in his studio all the time and he'd control it yeah. like when oh, I saw ride that the thing yeah that like, was awesome so, so this guy is making a so noise on a speakers. microphone electronically it's being transferred through these devices and it yep. equals a motor going <laughs> yeah that was in the movie and it, and it gave a woman an orgasm yeah, yeah. that wasn't the Sibian though that was the speakers what Howard did she do? She the Howard. Sibian studio though <laughs> Howard <laughs> that, that guy, movie was a little bit that uh, guy was something else huh yeah he's different now like he's not the same everybody changes the media yeah. he, he they call him uh hampton's howie now he uh he got hammered in the media more than just about anyone else i know but i mean yeah now now he's like mainstream though with like all these he, people he does like interviews. he had his day in the light he, yeah he got his just desserts or whatever no that, back people in like say early that 2000s the howard stern show I was guess. the best show ever i could listen all day and like now i want not want to turn it off at work. Or I think I got it backwards. I think your just desserts is when you get something bad that you deserve happen to you. Howard didn't have that. He got his day. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say here. There is a. I'm there. trying to say I don't really know the right term, <laughs> the right way to use. You got your just desserts. If it's a negative or a positive, I've well, never heard the term, so I don't know. Come on, no. Get out of here. Never I'm the, in like I'm old the baby man or anything. No, like I'm the baby Skeletor, here. like right. I'm the baby here. How old are you? Thirty-eight. Yeah, I'm the baby here. See? I don't know that shit. You guys are all fucking old. Well, what? I'll be 40 this year. You hey. are. Yeah, I know. Hey. I like, old man. I like 40. Not even. My old I man. I just, I stopped aging when I became I a vampire. I said you're my old man. Oh. My old man. What don't worry it? about it. It doesn't matter how old I am. I'm 322 years old. Tell us about this uh, herb you're taking. Oh, yeah. I'm taking Tonga Ali. It's good for, like, testosterone. It doesn't, like, raise it up like you're taking tests or something, but it's, um, but it, like, makes boners better it makes everything makes you horny it's it's cool it's cool they talked about it on joe rogan recently it makes you semen more get out of here what is like, and like after getting the vasectomy i just have like dust come out like, like really yeah like not as much as i used to i don't know if that's true well i'm telling you it's true well it's not my it's not true in my people talking, have different side effects it's not like, true in my experience say? it's true in my experience <laughs> but yeah we not? got two oh two yeah beat up. No. Definitely, totally it is definitely you guys are two less... V'd up motherfuckers right here. Yep. You want us to? I you don't you. want us to jerk off in a cup and have a contest or anything. <laughs> That's not what you're saying. You're just saying we both have a vasectomy. Yeah. yeah. You, okay. you have V'd okay. up. Yeah. I'm not ready for that. I'm. I got I'm not ready for. That. I'm training for a yeah. fight right now. I don't want to look at that. You're training for a fight. Yeah. I don't want to look at that even when I'm like. Doing I I that. take so much shit now. Like. <laughs> what are you taking? All good stuff, but no, I just take a lot of shit. I take uh, you know, I take like fish oil, all sorts of vitamins, Tonga Ali. I take um, now. I take finasteride for preventative hair loss because I'm getting into my 40s. I don't want to lose my hair. I microdose it. Um, I got. Favorite. I got. I haven't started it yet, but I have raloxifene, which is um, a woman's uh, breast cancer med for for to, Yeah, because my gland on my left side is a little swollen, so it's supposed to get rid of that. And then I got. I take turkesterone. 
in cycles, which is like a, um, it's like an insect steroid. You're on a fucking, uh, yeah. Yeah. you're on a regimen. Damn. Bro. Welcome to my world. <laughs> what the only problem is I wish, I kind of wish like I did the surplus thing where I got jacked and big because like with a shirt on, I don't look like I work out and like yes, back in the does. day I did. Yes, it does. Not, not really though. Well now comparatively to like two months ago, you're, it does. You're, but... you're also looking at yourself every single yeah. day. Yeah, don't see the difference. Like I'll see you like once a week or twice a week with your shirt off and I'm like, yo, what? Yeah, Hi. no, it's, I'm definitely getting Hello. more cut slowly. Hello. Hi like, friend. Hubba hubba. I'm definitely yeah, getting more cut. your shoulders too, I eat bro. the same thing every day. Your I, shoulders I, I are Yeah, looking. my shoulders are one thing I actually already, always had so they're kind of they're yeah. kind of growing. That was what Mike used to, your brother used to say, used to say. See, my thing with supplements is like. There's good ones. Well, you got to sort out what the bullshit is. It's That's not, it's problem. just like, it's, for me, it's like, ugh, this is a lot of work. I got to not. And it's not, this, it's not the main that, thing though. It's, drink it's this. Just, it's just something good to do. Like, like, Support. like, like, uh, fish oil or like eating salmon is good for hormone, like, you know, testosterone or oh, hormones. No. I can't like, do that. Like, so your hormones will drop while you're cutting. Cause I'm cutting, I'm, I'm eating lower calories. So I don't want my hormones to plummet. No, I'm gonna uh, just stick with my regime that I have. Do whatever now, you can. It's my my I, yeah, current do whatever diet. Works. I, I just a- like being proactive about some things. I see this does this. Oh, this is protein synthesis. Okay, I'll take that. No, I'm I'm in an indeterminate amount of years. It could be next year. It could be forty. It could be when I'm forty five. I could ride it out till I'm fifty. But at a certain point, I'm going on. An- HRT anabolic steroids. Yeah, you, know, you should go on. Um, so do it, do it legal. Jump back. Get the real testosterone replacement therapy. Have you ever done them? Steroids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, they're good. Uh, when you we were steroids, or- I remember uh, when we were younger, we were like, okay, so I've been to Thailand a bunch of times, and you can get what is presumably far- pharmaceutical grade like steroids just stuff. just in the pharmacies over there with no prescription. Right. Just uh, now that I'm a little bit older and wiser, I think they might have been knockoffs. Who knows? Uh, well, I mean, a lot of steroids are just. Made I mean, they might have just. Lab they might have just. Anyways. Yeah, they're generic. I mean, they were steroids. Yeah. They just weren't made by like the company that was supposedly making them. But, USDA, uh, like you know, um, you can test them sanction. now. They sell testing kits on Amazon. Yeah. You so, can test your steroid. Right. Exactly what you're getting. Right. So it's amazing. I think for me, like. Why do you know that steroids? You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't think they're I, I like I don't know what the long You would know term. if I was doing stuff, trust me. Yeah, because I'd kick you straight I'll, in the fucking balls. Well, I don't know how bad they are for you though in the long not term. That bad I think I think okay, so it's it's like this, right? You like, gotta get your blood work done and your stuff. Your body your body's making these things on, on its own. And what what you end up doing is putting an excess amount of them in. Right. So you get these that, huge gains. But then that creates right, a it lack. triggers right. Yeah. It triggers a response to balance it out, right. which is where the estrogen comes in. But you also have to take a PCT to but like also, when you wean off of it. But also, um you, you know, you you build up like a tolerance for steroids where you need more and more because your your receptors yeah, like can't any, hang on to it. Right. And then so you it's not like everyone I know that's ever been on steroids for life does not just they just don't look good. No, like bodybuilders that do it year no, their round. Skin gets a little weird. They're off. Their bodies get fucked. Yeah, but like Ronnie Coleman's all fucked. Yeah, okay, but the people who do uh, normal doses of steroids, like and don't overdo it, you wouldn't even know they were on it. They're just right. really good. So I, I guess what I'm gonna and say is, I, I think steroids are good if you take like a super low dose and you use them to the minimum. And you might not. I, I don't think you can use them year round. I think you can use them like. Just like a cycle the year is you to lose, put on you, a- you lose a lot of your gains too. Like, you, but you, you keep some though, so it's like it's almost like you're gonna gain, you know, seven pounds of muscle and you're gonna lose four. Like, you could use it to it transform your body. Oh, and put you yeah. into a different. Yeah, and guys, then you, stop doing it. Yeah, but those only drastic so far you changes. Can get genetically are, like, that's what's dangerous is those drastic swings. Okay, I'm talking about trying to maintain a homeostasis. Is that, yeah, is that what I'm looking for right yeah. now? Yeah, homeostasis. Yeah, you wanna you want an equilibrium where you're like, you know. In other words, like I'm getting to a, I'm getting to a point where my body's starting to produce less testosterone. Right? Mm-hmm. Now doctors are like, I kind of want to get a check. Well, you can get testosterone therapy. Like that's just doing steroids, man. No, it is, but but <laughs> you're, it's not. You're, doesn't mean it's bad for you though. It's just they just give you new testosterone because you're not producing it yourself. Yeah, because if you're lacking something that you're supposed to sure. have, like that's thyroid different. medication. That's, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. I'm, but that's what I'm saying, baby. I'm not doing supplements. I'm going right for that's the good hormone stuff. Hormone therapy, but it's like testosterone sipinate, which is like the same things they take bodybuilders take. It's like a base that. steroid, and then after that, you take other things with it. But base cycle is well. That's what I'm. Fo- that's what I'm focusing on over the next couple of years. I would get it checked post fight, obviously, because I don't. You know, <laughs> I gotta pass the. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. You gotta I have pass to pass the. the you know, there's a lot of side test. effects too, though. One of them's hair loss, and I love my hair, but you don't have to worry about that. If I was bald, I wouldn't care about that. Mm. You don't have to worry about hair loss. 
Are you I wearing know. contacts tonight? No. My I, eyes have been looking lighter, haven't uh, they? It's, I think it's because the... <laughs> no, it's the it's the eyeliner. That's what uh, it is. I guys, think it's lightning. Look, I got eyes. one more thought what do you, before we go. What do you got? Look, uh, I... I, I'd, I'd love to see hear what you guys think about this. So in a couple of cultures that are are in the United States, uh, particularly Asian and Hispanic, mm-hmm. um, and this is also a lot of times when there's public speaking, whether it's on the news as a news reporter or someone speaking, and they'll talk in a, in a, in a straight American accent. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? But then they will, if they say something, in, in, with a, a, a Spanish name, for instance, uh, they will oh, they say will it. Switch the, it. They will switch the accent. They'll turn the accent. I love on. that. that I love it too, so cool. and I'm jealous. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Para hablas en español. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, well, but so like from, they just like boom. Yeah. Switch it on and off. Cucarachas. That's called like, being bilingual. No, I know, but like perfectly bilingual, just to make that perfect switch. That's so. They don't cool. even know they do it. Yeah. Cool. No, because it's just like second nature to them, totally. And it's a. I think it's also like a homage to their culture and yeah. their language of origin. Yeah, for sure. But then they also they have like their language and then they have English and then they have what they like speak to their family of like oh, the same yeah. age. It's like a Spanglish yeah, yeah, mix yeah. version. It's kind of cool. There's funny. a Cambodian version of that too yeah, yeah. Where, where where English is spoken but in the acts, the Khmer accent mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the person understands it. I yeah. go, what the fuck? How yeah. did that happen? Like, yeah. Don't understand if English. I said it, no. No. But if you said the same thing I said with, a Kore- with the with, Khmer I mean, accent. Yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. shit. Words are weird. They're all just a bunch of nonsense yeah. that we agree on their meaning. You so know? my thought is I am of Irish uh, descent somewhere down the line. And I want to start doing that when I say Irish names. Oh, Irish that's words. cool. And I have we have an, an actual Irishman here. Hey. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? All right, hey. all right. So there we go. I don't know if you Greeks want to do it. Too, what are you? What are you? They can't say? speak Greek. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck your you blood. Can do it. Hello, I'm. Hello. I'm Hi, I'm Kingsley. Kingsley. <laughs> Kingsley. But my last name's different now. Cheerio. Oh, so it's. It's all Dan's fault. You could do two accents. I good. I don't know if that. I don't look Greek though. Well. I don't know if that's you don't uh, insulting <laughs> or, or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. don't look great. Like, I don't know what to tell you on the language. The northern language yeah. is a good time. I like to speak a lot of different ones if I can. It's hard, but accents always my main focus. If before, I before vocabulary, if I I'm so I'm so motivated. If I wanted to learn another language and that was like my goal, oh, I could do it. Don't give don't give them another. I don't want to learn another I'm language. I'm just saying you can just I have talk too much in going the on accent right now, of your no of more your peoples, missions. You know? No more missions. Yeah. I don't mission is to you. protect you. Mi- mission <laughs> mission's one of the uh, eight M's to combating depression, by the way. You have yeah, to have, you have to have a right. mission when you wake up in the morning. You say, okay, what's my mission today? I have to do this, 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 and that. You know? So right. anyway, guys, th- thanks for listening to the show, everyone. Uh, check out the Cryptozoology Museum in Maine. <laughs> and uh, Ron Coleman Museum. And, uh, you know, once again, if you're looking for solar, check out energytree.com and look us up on Instagram. That might not be a real thing. And if you have an idea for the show or if you have a, you want to weigh in or comment on the show, uh, you know, if you want to be a guest and you're you, a cool person, you want to set yourself up, we'll screen them out. We'll screen you out if you want to be a guest, but you got to uh, have something though. You got to have something <laughs> interesting. Hit us up at T M N B A R T at gmail.com. Did I nail wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. Can I say one more thing? Chris, why are you wearing sandals right now? It's I mean, like thirty degrees out. I wear them uh, because I've because I have severe foot pain in both feet from oh, okay. working oh. at the restaurant. I just I wanted to ask the whole time. I forgot. Massive, massive quantities. All right, we'll give you a pass. Smashing have, my feet into heavy bags what do I have? and people a pass. karate. My feet are all twisted up now. What is that called? Plantar fasciitis. No, I have something called. Um, Hideous feet. No, where they cut the thing bunions, I think. Bunions. Ah, yeah, oh, those yeah, fucking. Yeah. I got weird things going on inside my feet. I don't, I don't look at my feet very often, but I, I don't have them that. Day. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I That's an that, old man fucking. You injury. old yeah. fucks. It feels fine though. <laughs> since you brought it up, I am gonna, I am gonna let everyone know in the audience because this is like something that's been plaguing me my entire life. Okay, my feet started hurting me like. <sighs> 15 years ago, like chronically, I was having the worst foot pain in my life every single day. And I was wearing, doing all kinds of things. And 
I don't care what your medical condition is. When you've got a medical condition that's causing you pain or discomfort, there are a million and one assholes out there commonly referred to as snake oil salesmen. They're going <laughs> to, if you've got an ailment, someone's going to come up with yeah, something that, for that sure. might help it. Yeah. And and that's how they sell it to you. It's, it's, it may, it may help you. Yeah. Okay. But what happens is, is you're in pain. So you're willing to try anything yeah. to get through it. Okay. So if you're, if you're suffering from, foot pain and you've got plantar fasciitis i everybody's different but every single thing you read about is that you need like arch support and you need the right orthotics in your shoes Mm -hmm. and all this other jive i've tried it all i've done it all there's only one thing that makes my feet feel better nope (laughs) it's walking around that makes me like feel better inside as like you know mentally but so i'm like i I cope with the foot pain like (laughs) eh my feet hurt, but yeah, I'm pretty sure opiates I'm work. Right. But I'm, I'm good. pretty stoned. Yeah. yeah, well, okay. So excluding opiates, they those, actually work. Those are extremely dangerous. Yeah, yeah. But, but, the, they... but that's a but that's a bottomless pit of you have to keep doing yeah. more and more and more. Right. All right. So long term, if you've got plantar fasciitis, you should just wear flip flops and try it out because it's an inflammation of something in your feet. Inflammation is almost always exacerbated by heat. So ice is the only thing that actually excluding hardcore nar- narcotics the only thing that makes my feet not hurt is ice and by that same rationale when i wear my flip-flops my feet run cooler and yeah. they, they don't hurt straight up the minute i put on a pair of sneakers and the temperature goes up down there i can feel my pulse in my feet because mm-hmm. they're throbbing yeah so if you've got plantar fasciitis people don't try a motherfucking thing just go get yourself a cheap pair of flip-flops wear them year-round <laughs> Um, you're going to have to accept the whole like hippie, like, Ooh. you know, you're going to look like a hippie. So, you know, sometimes you can't wear your leather jacket with it. Or if you do, you look weird, but I do it. And, uh, you know, just get some hippie clothes to go with it. We I, can't, we yeah. can't all be Dan and wear a cowboy. Boots. I want, and this summer, I don't leave the house in anything, but done up. I've been wearing the same outfit for <laughs> 35 years and right. Like, mm, like 30 years, like right around age 10, I started wearing a leather jacket and like jeans and a t-shirt. And I just, yeah. that's it. That's what I wear. And, um, you know, clothes, just whatever. But this year I'm getting bell bottoms. I've decided that's oh. they're, they're going to go. I mean, that's pretty rare. They're going to go. They're going to go so good with my Come hippie on. sandals. You guys are going to, I'm know. getting bell bottoms. You won't be jeans. able to see them. No, you will. I'm going to get them cut just right. They're gonna look nice. That sounds they're gonna hide ridiculous. my knees, and they're, they're gonna, gonna they show. Better hide they're your gonna fucking show. Knees. They're, what? They have to be tight. Yeah, they, they they make them too tight. I don't like them. Yeah. Like skinny jeans with a you belt. You gotta get yeah. stretchy jeans, bro. You gotta get the jeggings. No, nah, I'm gonna have them made straight up. Next, uh, next I kind of want up. stretchy jeans. Oh, you gotta. When you, jegging, why would yeah. you have not? They're not comfortable. No, I want. Well, I want them. What stretchy jeans? Yeah, oh, I don't. They have jeggings for men now. I can't. They're like stretchy stretch pants, but they're jeans. They look like jeans. I have stretchy I mean, like Joe Rogan no, wears them. Right now. Nope. I mean, like jegging. jegging. I'm oh. getting yeah, not like 1970s that. style quintessential bell bottoms. Maybe even made out of linen. I don't know. And I was going gonna, with jeans. You got to get the button up. No, I was going no with jeans. Zi- you can no get zipper. Them. No zipper. Button and I, up. I want sunflowers on them too. And you're we just gonna rock like it, rock them with a Henley and and the and the, uh, the flip flop. That's like a Dexter Henley. I'm probably just gonna go with like yeah. flip flops, the bell bottoms, and then like something up top like a know. tank top or something it's maybe even sleeveless i don't know i could sleeveless do any sleeveless shirt I could, I could do any i could do any sleeveless anything. kiss shirt i have i don't have to answer to anyone but my daughter and she doesn't approve of it anyway so there's, yeah. there's nothing to, there's yeah. nothing to lose my kids, are definitely not gonna <laughs> my kids don't approve of me either trust me all right well get ready to see some wild stuff this year i may or may not fight professionally in a <laughs> in a massachusetts uh exhibition with a guy that's much bigger than me uh, I may or may not have some sweet bell bottoms on in the next few months, and uh, stay tuned you know, on the yeah. Uh, stay tuned on facility. all the yep. Stay tuned on all that stuff, and until next time, guys, get your hooshies off.